welcome. I understand exactly why the world has been ignoring me. And I ask you to entertain me one last time before you make up your mind and write me off forever as some uh, false prophet. Give me one more kick at the can, please. Humor an old man who really does have a good heart. And I beg and plead in the name of Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, entertain me just for a little bit. Take what's good, leave what's bad. Do a Bruce Lee. Uh, uh, after you hear what I'm about to say, uh, wipe your feet of me once and for all. Because this is my message unto all the nations. This is the most important message of my ministry career, which has never even started to blast off yet because the world is purposely ignoring that which I have produced. And that's okay. Just agree to disagree. I want to be your friend anyways. Love you from afar. And after this, if I see no, uh, no difference, just don't watch it no more, that's all. And uh, if I see no difference, I will resign and the world will be done with me. 8,000 videos, that's enough. I can retire. I haven't made a penny for doing anything that I have done. I haven't really tried asking for money much, maybe a little bit in the beginning when I was real naive. But, uh, you know, I've got better things to do with my time than to give all of my time unto uh, peoples who have no appreciation, that are so unfriendly they can't even say, hey, well, at least you're trying. You know, I, I agree to disagree, but at least you're trying. Uh, go in peace, you know, uh, I, 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 I see differently, but, you know, leave me a message. Let me know you appreciate some effort that I have because I have been trying to reach out to the world for Christ in, in this day and age when he is hated so. Uh, how is that? It's not easy to do. But I have been preaching Christ's love in a way that perhaps no other man except he has ever preached because I use his copy of the word of love. And no condemnation, judge not that ye be not judged. So welcome. And these are the days for many, many and many, Mickey, to uh, hold the candle of hope, the candle of dreams the candle of peace and the candle of love. Because by letting that candle burn, we can all have a much better day at the end of the day. So uh, I am now addressing Israel. Uh, I am the messenger unto them, Isaiah 41, that they've inherited something. And I am the messenger unto all mankind. And I am now the messenger unto every single country in the world and it is this message this will more than likely be a two-parter and uh, it's worth the uh, 45 minutes to an hour whatever it's going to be and so I hope you're gonna like what I uh, am presenting because if the ideas are valid and if they are inspired and if they are uh, loving and kind and um, you know, all the good things. I've been preaching love, kindness, hope, and no one wants to give me the time of day. So one more time, I plead, plead, hear this message, the message unto the world. And so unto uh, those who love from the blessed country that I have uh, named in the title of this video, unto all of you within your blessed country, I now bring forth the Lord God Almighty's message of overflowing love, peace, and hope. Please don't shoot the messenger. I just got a message. That's all I got. And I bring no real important revelation at all that's not already written in the Word of God. And know that such blessed souls of the all the countries that I'm naming in this video unto the nations, they uh, such blessed souls are thankful, generous, and charitable, even when they sleep, if they're people of love. And uh, all such angels of humanity, humanity will ascend unto paradise 
upon the mighty wings of our most regal eagle of the eons. Because it is utter gospel truth, as Jesus said, you got to be as a little child to be born again. Because those who love are born again by our love, our Lord thereof, uh, let absolutely all people of his love's adoration now try to have the minds to understand that they shall be blessed evermore as they increasingly become people of love's most glorious light of faith's truest truth. Since uh, at the... Uh, People won't, uh, as they become people of one accord, men, women, and children of affection, seniors of kindness, and souls of warmth's most tender tenderness, they alone can choose to become the delight of love's truest truths. For such minds of illuminated divine light of love will allow them to strive passionately towards the beautiful goal of becoming even more little by little. Even if we go two steps forward and one step back, we're going in the right direction. So we got to try to fake it till we make it. But uh, we can become more loving and more forgiving people of fondness, friendship, and kindest regards. For such such loving people, they want to be those, part of those, uh, to the devotion to love in this perfect preparation of our Prince of Peace's most perfect peace uh, that comes forth from Will Ferrell's Everybody Love Everybody movement from the movie Semi-Pro. Um, so all hail that exalted leader, uh, Will Ferrell. And let everybody really, really, I'm just joking around, but let everybody just plain start loving everybody. No other religion is really needed in this loveless world. And know that such people uh, who are obedient unto the spirit of love, they need to be embracing love's most glorious glory so they can become one with within the beloved bride. They can become the charming, the delightful, the enchanting, the exquisite, and the graceful. For only such loving souls can be the pleasing, the sweet, and the winners since they're willing to transform into transcendent winners of love who will be willing to beat their swords into the sickle for love's kingdom age of hope's greatest glory as the spirit of love speaks unto their hearts of hearts, deep calls unto deep. And as our uh, drop carpenter of the ages drops down from heaven his plumb line uh, for the restoration of Acts 3.21, as foretold, he now is uh, revealing himself to be the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his own reaper. So this word of unity amongst the nations for all those of love could never return void and meaningless unto him. So praise evermore, our King of love, our most beautiful love of the ages, of multitudes who have never even heard the name of Jesus. Very few people have ever heard the name of Jesus because it was only invented in the 17th century. Uh, check with Wikipedia, it says so. I don't know who came up with it, but it means uh, Yahshua because that was uh, when Jesus heard the name Yahshua. That was what he heard. He never heard the name of Jesus. Mom never heard the name of Jesus. Here. Anyway, but absolutely all people, all throughout the ages, uh, they have heard his most honored secret name of Mark 4 that uh, the word of God was called love. Uh, those who love are born of him and know him, born again and know him because he is love, First John 4, 7. That, that's a holy name of love. That name was written by one of the apostles by revelation, and his name was called L-O-V-E, is the name of God. That is the most perfect name of, of our Lord. And for this reason, and for the reason of the restoration foretold in Matthew 17, 11, let the wise be stupid no more, let the strong be weak no more, and let all condemners of this word of the Lord's holiest global peace condemn this channel no more. And let all of one voice now sing forth the foretold song of love as we evermore praise our most beloved love of the ages that a brand new Galileo effect of Bible prophecy has finally come from our blinding star of stars most beautiful glimmering radiance of his hope's most glorious kingdom age resplendence as he pours out his blessings from his sapphire sea that's a fire with his own glory. And for these, in these days of uh, all Bible prophecy coming to pass, 
this is what is happening, including the two great white cloud foretellings of Matthew 24 and Revelation 14. That has already happened as well. So let the brilliant of mankind uh, ignore ignorance for the very first time in their brainwashed soul so they can be finally behold the most glorious glittering of his sapphire sea, great blue ocean of his love's bottomless adoration for one and all. And blessed are those welcoming nuclear war no more, for they are the beloved who really tries to walk in the spirit of love without any condemnation or future judgment upon themselves in the in total amnesty. Uh, as it is written, declares myself, I am the Lord's Elijah, uh, the Lord's end time revelator of all revelation, of all religions, because I have read it all. The Bible instructed me to read all prophecy most carefully and to embrace all that is good, and that is what I did. Muhammad said, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the law, the gospel, and all revelation coming to you. So I sought revelation and revelation and revelation, and this is the manifestation thereof. And so the Lord says, I am your tragedy, and I am your fortune, and I am your passion, and I am your apathy, as well as your sickness and your healing, whatever you all may prefer. We all get our choice. We can be an angel or we can be a devil. It's that simple. So most blessed are all those looking through the spirit of prophecy of peace, through the great telescope of the new Galileo effect, from the manifesting vision of Habakkuk 2's foretold spiritual telescope of the ages. Behold the spirit of prophecy, bird eye view as clearly seen by her soaring dove of love and the most regal eagle of the eons, who is the one and the same, uh, who is now soaring higher than ever before since our living roaring lion of Zion is also roaring much louder than he ever will again as deep calls unto deep. And even unbelievers of love shall finally be able to see much farther ahead into the dawning kingdom age of love than all of the popes, Buddhas, Muhammads, and Jesuses uh, ever could not and never would have been able to divulge because they loved us all and they could not divulge that mystery of God of Revelation 10:7, uh, because the harvest time was not yet right. The timing had to be right. And it is written that this would happen in the latter days, Jeremiah 31.1 and uh, Jeremiah 1.10 uh, in two places, and Jeremiah 30.24, and this shall be considered in the latter days, uh, it is written. So if you're ignoring me, you are just ignoring the message thereof. So woe unto the unloving, for they shall now receive really a really gross foretold pie of Malachi 2 right on the very eye that they have closed so that they would never be able to be, never need to gaze uh, to the uh, eye-opening vision ahead that they were just fearful to see, just as fools in Galileo's day never wanted to see their own truth of a flat earth dissolved before them, since they didn't want to be stuck without any root or branch in their opinions about the realities around them. Uh, they didn't want to be left uh, in days, uh, former days, of other refiners' fire that burned away all foolishness and falseness of all past gross darkness of Isaiah 60s end time prophecy as our son of love now arises by prophecy with the healing under his wing for all those of love willing to open up their hearts so they can finally behold the mess uh, of um, their mess of a house of cards uh, prophetic understandings but it's never made any difference of our understandings prophecy was never told to tell the future but to change it so that we would not be destroyed that's a good thing and our righteousness has always been as filthy rags so it doesn't matter that that I've been wrong this guy's been wrong whoever's been wrong who is right so know that as God is now making things all topsy-turvy all over the circle of earth by pulling down 
down mountains and raising up valleys so one people of love may lovingly stand under one really sweet Lord of love, most loving and forgiving love imaginable. For verily, verily, I, Daniel of Windsor, Ontario, from the north of Isaiah 41, I now say unto all people that love and forgiveness, love and forgiveness have exactly the same meaning since there has never been any divine love upon earth uh, that, that was not unconditional. What glory could there possibly be, ask yourselves, in any twisted kind of uh, looking through a, a glass uh, darkly kind of love that is damning and unforgiving, manipulative, impatient. And what glory is there in any love that could possibly ever live with the knowledge that they're torturing someone everlastingly without end? And all receiving this defining message of Israel, uh, a.k.a. Chrislam, uh, all receiving this with an open heart, they will become the beloved the blessed and the adored as they become one with he who has those most blessed names which all men should be bowing down unto so blessed are the open-hearted of love for they are the blessedness the godliness and the shielded sinlessness that love never looks upon as it is so clearly written in jeremiah 31 of whom i daniel of the north of isaiah 41's prophecy am his messenger of uh, Jeremiah. That is why in 8,000 videos I have the same message. Uh, and I am right from uh, Windsor, Ontario, and I'm delighted to welcome uh, everyone to the dawning of our golden age. If only people will believe that all of us need to be striving towards being honest and equitable, striving to be fair and faithful, uh, striving to be honorable and open and straightforward. And even if we choose not those qualities, we gotta, we gotta know that we all have those qualities anyways. Doesn't matter. We all have those qualities inherently within. We are beings of love born that way. And we will only risk the Galileo effect if we will only do that. Uh, but people don't want to look through any telescope of clarity because they want their earth flat. They want their arguments. They want to keep the past the past. Uh, so I tell you, exhale uh, the past and inhale the future. It is here. These are the days of uh, uh, imagine, imagine uh, the, of John Lennon's prophecy. So uh, these are the days. Uh, let the spirit of love's truth, truth. He's now declaring that everyone, every one of us, was born with some real beautiful qualities that help us to be conscientious and reliable, propelling us forward so we can be square, we can be a hundred style, we can be true, and we can be trustworthy. And I think 85% of people in the world are pretty darn good, uh, and the other 15%, uh, uh, there's hope for them too. And all people of love inherently have within many more beautiful qualities. If only people will just let those characteristics of small of uh, of their own small-minded ignorance uh, to, to let those qualities out of the inner prison that they have, themselves have banished their good qualities away to for all people have been born uncorrupted and upright and credible uh, in all our ways virtuous and we've all been born to be faithful uh, and we've all been born to be little angels to be decent proper and reputable and every single human ever born we were born to be respectable and decent that is why we have all been born so now receive hope from the new message of god as foretold by the prophet marshall vian summers for he was most accurate, says the spirit of love, peace, and hope, when he declared that the everlasting gospel of the most loving kind of faith of, se of the seventh perfected kind, ha kind had already come, and that we just need to hear what the Lord is saying to all of us. So let those of this beloved country to whom this video is addressed, let uh, all of you arise together with overflowing brand new kind of hope in these days of Elias saith the most regal eagle of the eons who brings forth the lion's word of absolutes now that the mystery of God from Revelation 10 7 
uh, has been written in the dust so that the rains of God's flood of love over all people of flesh might wipe it away because the seven trumpets sounded first and the first was last and the last was first. And so let the wise ex excel again the past and inhale again the future. Let this be a mantra again and again. Exhale, inhale the future of love the future of the kingdom age vision uh, to arise. Uh, and these, it will happen as we choose to beat our swords into the sickles so that our un, um, undistorted understandings uh, will be beat into the sickle from the sword because we've only been looking through a glass darkly before. Uh, so these are the days for love's hope, peace, and the of understanding of the kingdom age finally can arise gloriously. Uh, so um, there's great hope for the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, whom we all are. We are the living stone of the church of love, whom all people are part of, and none being loved more than any others. So let uh, smart people never again look through a glass darkly, now that the Lord God's word has finally opened again, just as Daniel 12, 9, foretold. For there has never been no good person. And know that after all, uh, his word was only closed, as that word says in Daniel 12, 9, until the time of the end, because his word had to open to bring forth his message of Malachi 3, 1, by his message of his word, to prepare his way by his truth of his kingdom age written word of love for one and all, written in Jeremiah 31, of whom I am the messenger of the covenant of uh, Malachi 3, 1. It's therefore the foretold latter day time of the wise shining as the stars in Daniel 12 after them receiving this prophesied word of hope for it's, it's time to receive the gift, the power and the blessing of the dawning kingdom age and it's time to see that the word is now flowing again as it was promised clearly after such a long silence. Uh, and for humanity is now facing the greatest waves of change, the change of beating swords into the sickle, the change of everyone on earth uh, moving along with, um, as they behold, exceedingly great environmental, economic, and social transformations as well. We are all facing the most gigantic changes and the most difficult challenge and the most uh, difficult obstacles obstacles, but the, our Lord God is tearing down the mountains to lift up the valleys, and it's it's time for the greatest call for the uh, foretold unity of love that Christ foretold in John 17, his most passionate prayer for the oneness of man, his most passionate uh, prophecy that he would arise as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man in the brotherhood of love, exactly as John 10 foretold by his word. And this is the time that the greatest need needs to become our cooperation with one another, for we are all going to sink or swim together in these dangerous days as Noah's were. So welcome to this foretold word of Isaiah 28, for line upon line is finally coming forth and precept upon precept so that the wise might take this great word of unbounded hope close unto their hearts. So please make this message unto Israel and all mankind your study. And please make it your priority. And please make it the greatest path of love's only true purpose for our life. Uh, to walk forward in love of one accord. And the wise shall even make this kingdom age message of uh, hope their emphasis. Nor shall they condemn any more or reject this message of the great restoration of love's most holy crusade. For in these days of Elijah, the smart will be so, and the stupid shall just stay pretty darn stupid. Blessed then are all those seeing that they can now receive the kingdom's overflowing power of love, hope, and faith, and grace, and the wisdom that it always brings forth. So the wise might shine as the sun as it is foretold in the days of Daniel 12. And the wise need to see that we are now at a great turning point, the whole world 
in these days of COVID uh, so that we can turn like one flock on a dime within but a moment of a moment that we can all turn together, coordinated, orchestrated, and moving towards the vision of love ahead. And so it's time, the soon coming time, that we need to change our future into a being a blessed one for our children. The hearts of the fathers must turn to the children. And no more should billions of foolish ones keep drinking from sh slowly shrinking wills, saith the prophet uh, Summers. And no more should the enlightened deny that it is the uh, time of the greatest reckoning of the season of Acts 3. 21's Reformation, which are days of Elijah's restoration and days of Marshall V.M. Summers' vision as well. And I say hi unto you, Marshall. I've always been your fan. Um, I never commented. I was not allowed to until now. But know for all people of the world that these are the foreseen days of Shiloh's great refreshing uh, that comes as foretold and with all authority of God in Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. And these are the sudden days of the greatest surprise and surprise, a pleasant one of the prophet Joel's prophecy, bringing forth the sudden restitution of earth's overflowing glory conceptually, because if it can be imagined, it can be a achieved exactly as ancient prophecy foresaw for i am the one that christ foretold when he asked a riddle about the one restoring all things uh, in matthew 17 11 and matthew 24 when he asked in the word of god in matthew uh who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is still away and it's it's therefore a happening that cannot be avoided, neglected, or ignored at all without the total oblivion that Christ the Lord foretold. Don't do it.